A few days ago, Synthetic Lab announced a new open-source coding assistant, similar to Claude Code, but running directly in your terminal. With this tool, you can write code faster and more efficiently. In this video, I'll show you everything how to install it locally and how to start using it in your terminal. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Let's talk about the open-source GitHub project OctoFriend, created by Synthetic Labs, a friendly open-source coding assistant you can run locally on your system. You can install this coding assistant using a simple npm command, and after installation, run it using the OctoFriend command. Octo is a small but powerful cephalopod-themed coding assistant. It works with any OpenAI-compatible or Anthropic-compatible LLM API, and you can even switch models in the middle of a conversation if one model gets stuck. It works perfectly with models like GPT-5, Claude-4, GLM-4, Point .5, and Kimi-K2, though you can use it with almost any model you like. It also correctly handles multi-turn responses, especially with thinking models like GPT-5 and Claude-4. Octo has zero telemetry, meaning it doesn't send your code anywhere. If you use it with a privacy-focused LLM provider, like Synthetic, your code stays completely private. But you can also use it with any OpenAI-compatible API provider, Anthropic, or even local LLMs running on your own machine. Here's a quick demo so you can see it in action. Octo can read instruction files named like octo.med, claude.med, and agents.med. The best part is you can use Octo with MCP servers by adding the right code, or connect it to your local LLMs through your own ports. Let's start by installing it on my system. First I copy the install command from the official page and open my terminal in Visual Studio Code or any terminal you prefer. Then I paste this command, npm install botch global octo friend, and press enter. The installation process starts right away. After installing, we need to set up our model API key. You can choose any model, like OpenAI's latest GPT-5, Anthropic's Claude 4, or the newest GLM 4.5, and Kimi K2. For this video, I'll use OpenAI's GPT-5 model. To do that, I set my API key using this command, WPI's Opel Improv Sive, Kirit Tadaver, give her call a GLM for your AI key. The DOAI key here. I paste my API key in place of your API key here and my setup is ready. After setting up my API key, I clear the terminal using the clear command. Next, I start OctoFriend by typing OctoFriend and pressing enter. OctoFriend launches right away, running with OpenAI's latest GPT-5 model. If you press the ESC key, you'll see all the settings such as enabling or disabling auto-fixing for JSON or switching between different models. For example, I can go to the switch model tab and change from GPT-5 to GPT-4.1 or even O3. You can also go back or add a new model using the New Model tab, like models from Synthetic, Anthropic, XAI, or even custom models such as Quen3 Coder. I recommend exploring these settings and setting your preferred model before starting. Once everything is set, I return to OctoFriend and begin using it. Let's start with a simple greeting. I type Hi, and GPT-5 responds. Hi Manu, what are we building today? Do you want me to set up a new project here? Or open an existing repo and take a look? For this demo, I'll create a modern portfolio website for an AI engineer. I type my prompt, create a modern portfolio for an AI engineer, and press enter. GPT-5 first creates a detailed plan for my portfolio. Within seconds, I see the plan right here in the terminal. Then OctoFriend starts generating all the necessary files for the project. In just a few seconds, my entire portfolio is created, and I can see all the code files directly in my terminal. After the process is complete, I run the portfolio locally in my browser. And here's the result. Now I'll be honest, it's not the most perfect portfolio for an AI engineer, but it's an amazing starting point for building something unique using OctoFriend. This portfolio comes with a responsive navigation bar, a hero section, skills section, publications, and contact details. It even includes both dark and light modes. I think this is a great example of how you can quickly create something new and functional using OctoFriend. And that's a wrap for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this deep dive into OctoFriend as much as I did. This open source project really shows the power of AI in modern web development. Let me know what you think about this tool in the comments below. If you have any suggestions for other interesting projects or tutorials, feel free to share them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.